I, Mrs. K. S. Gadgir, Assistant Professor in Department of Electrical Engineering, today will be discussing Descartes' Rule of Sign and Intermediate Value Theorem. Descartes' Rule of Sign. What does this theorem say? It says that the equation f of x cannot have more positive roots then the changes of sign in f of x the equation f of x the equation f of x cannot have more positive roots more positive roots than the changes then the changes of signs in f of x and more negative roots more negative roots than the changes of sign in f of minus x. Let us consider an example for this. You have the function f of x is equal to x raised to 4 minus 10x cube plus 36x square minus 56x plus 32 is equal to 0. We will write the signs of f of x. What are the signs of f of x? This is positive. x raised to 4 has positive. Minus 10x cube has minus 10. Plus 36x square has plus sign. Minus 56 has minus sign. And plus 32 has plus sign. Then we see number of sign changes that takes place. So from positive to negative there is one sign change. From negative to positive there is one sign change. From positive to negative there is one more sign change. And from negative to positive there is one more sign change. Therefore f of x, f of x, f of x has four changes of sign, four changes of sign, that is we can say the equation or the function cannot have more than four positive roots according to Descartes rule of sign. Right? Now we have to see for negative roots. Right? So first what we will do is we will write f of minus x. We will write f of minus x. So to write f of minus x we will write f of minus x is equal to minus x raised to 4 minus 10 into minus x cube plus 36 into minus x square minus 56 into minus x plus 32 equals to 0. Right? Now if you see minus x raised to 4 is going to become x raised to 4 minus 10 minus into minus x cube. Minus x cube is going to become minus x cube. So minus x cube into minus 10 is going to become plus 10 x cube. Minus x square is going to become plus x square. So plus x square into 36 is going to become 36 x square. Minus 56 into minus x is going to become 56 x plus 32 is equal to 0. Okay. Let us write signs of f of minus x. Right? So x raised to 4 has positive. 
टेन एक्स क्यूब हैज पॉजिटिव थर्टी सिक्स एक्स स्क्वायर हैज पॉजिटिव फिफ्टी सिक्स हैज पॉजिटिव फिफ्टी सिक्स एक्स हैज पॉजिटिव एंड थर्टी टू ऑल्सो हैज पॉजिटिव देर इज नो साइन चेंज देर इज नो साइन चेंज राइट देर फोर वी कैन राइट एफ ऑफ एक्स has zero sign changes f of x has zero sign changes that is it cannot have more than zero negative roots right cannot have more than zero negative roots we will solve one more example for descartes rule of sign right if you have the function if you have the function if you have the function f of x f of x is equal to x raised to 4 Minus five x cube, minus x square, plus fifteen x minus five. First, let us write down the signs of f of x. They are positive, negative, negative, positive, negative. From positive to negative, there is one sign change. Negative to negative, no sign change. Negative to positive, there is one more sign change, and again positive to negative, there is one more sign change. So it is having three sign changes, three sign changes in f of x. Therefore, we can write. the given function cannot have more than three positive roots okay. now to find out the number of negative roots we write f of minus x So it is minus x raised to four minus five into minus x cube minus x square plus fifteen into minus x minus five. So minus x raised to four becomes plus x raised to four minus x cube is minus x cube into minus five becomes five x cube. Minus x square becomes plus, and it is minus one into minus x square plus x square becomes minus x square plus fifteen into minus x becomes minus fifteen x and minus five. Let us write down the signs of f of minus x plus plus minus minus and minus. So plus to plus no sign change. Plus to minus one sign change. Minus to minus no sign change. And again minus to minus no sign change. So number of sign changes. Number of sign changes. In f of minus x is one. Therefore we can write. the function cannot have more than one the function cannot have more than one negative root okay so i'll just repeat the descartes rule of sign once again the equation f of x is equal to 0 cannot have more positive roots 
than the changes of sign in f of x and more negative roots than the changes of sign in f of minus x. So this rule gives us the number of positive real roots as well as the number of negative real roots for a function. Next we move to intermediate value theorem. What is intermediate value theorem? Intermediate value theorem If a function f of x is continuous in the interval is continuous in the interval a comma b a comma b and f of a f of a and f of b are of opposite sign then the equation f of x is equal to 0 has at least one root between A and B. Right? So, we will give see the graphical representation of intermediate value theorem. So, you have a function f of x which is continuous in the interval A comma B and if f of A and f of b are of opposite sign f of a and f of b are of opposite sign then the equation f of x is equal to 0 has at least one root between x is equal to a and x is equal to b. So, let us take this as point a on x axis this is our x axis our y axis is y is equal to f of x right then you have one more point B over here, right? And if f of A and f of B are of opposite sign, so let us take that f of A, you have a point over here, which is A comma f of A. So you can see f of A is what? f of A is negative. You have a point over here, B comma f of B, f of B is positive. And if you join this function, you will see that it intersects the x-axis over here. That means at this point, f of x is what? 0. At this point, f of x is equal to 0. That means it is the root of the equation. That means it is the root of the equation. So, what does the theorem state? The theorem says that if f of a, if f of x is continuous, and you have an interval A, B such that f of A and f of B are of opposite sign. There has to be at least one root. So, this is the graphical representation of intermediate value theorem. Right? So, we have taken f of A as negative, f of B as what? Positive. And when I join the function, I see that it intersects the x-axis. And whenever the function intersects the x-axis, that point is the root of the equation right 